My name's Charlie, my name's Alicia, and this is our first ever YouTube video. I asked you on Twitter to send in some questions, 20 questions so we can answer and you can get involved in getting to know us. Okay, question number one. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, you go first. How many sweets can you catch in your mouth in 30 seconds? Well, I can't do that. No. Okay, 30 seconds. Question number two. My turn. This is a good question. If you had to choose only one person to survive a zombie apocalypse with, who will it be and why? Question. I would choose Bear Grylls. When you're out in the wild, you've got to eat and drink all the way in the world and survive. She should probably choose me now. Question number three. There. Are you starting any new TV shows or fandoms? Game of Thrones! I want season 3 of Game of, Game of Thrones, right? If you don't know, somebody goes. <laughs> the hell no! The hell no! And it's just. I, I don't even know what to say. Well, what are you starting I've to just know? started to watch Doctor Who. Proud, proud. Oh, what is that? You <clears throat> oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have any amount of penguins in the world, how many would you have? Uh, I'm thinking like, for every person, there's a penguin. People's penguins! Yeah. I think there should be 26 billion. So for every person, wait, how many billion? No, 42 billion. There's seven, isn't there? Seven billion in the world. Seven billion of us. Yeah. So that's six times seven is 42. But every person should have six penguins. Six personal penguins. Six personal penguins in your house. Yeah. If you had to spend the day with one celebrity, who would it be? Or you have to choose now. Don't do this to me. For those of you who don't know me, I love Doctor Who. Who else I love? Jenna Coleman. Jenna Coleman. Matt Smith. And I love Janice. Everybody in love, go put your hands up. It's really hard for me to pick Barack Obama. Okay. Because then I'm not offending anyone. I mean, Barack Obama's got some bang bang. He got all the guns and we can bust people up. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Barack Obama. Actually, it depends. I'd probably go with Jenna for a party. You know, Jenna's probably a party. I'd go for Matt and a chill day in bed, Doctor Who. And what, Matt, you and Matt both watching Doctor Who, yeah, so yeah. Matt watching Matt. Yeah, I don't, we can do some David Tennant and stuff and go back to 50 years you know, ago. The old days. Yeah, do some William Hartnell, I think. Yeah. And I think Aston, we can go to the Caribbean. God. One celebrity. Bear Grylls. I've already said Bear Grylls. Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama! <laughs> Next question. <coughs> oh! Okay. This is a good question, I can tell already. If you had to travel back in time to 1665 and leave one modern day object, what would you leave and why? Like, I, I don't know, I wouldn't leave my phone because I feel like I need I know, it. I feel like I would leave my phone, you know, to get the real 1665 experience. If I was able to travel back there, if I had a time machine, I'd probably leave the well, time you'd machine. You'd probably snap it all up, wouldn't you? Like, yeah. <laughs> but I'd leave the time machine. And, and there's you think, like, if you leave your phone, like, they didn't have phones. Yeah, but I need so my phone. So you need to have the full experience. Yeah, but I need my phone. Okay, I'm not that dependent on my phone. Okay, I'd leave my mum's phone. Do you have your mum's phone? No, but I'd steal it. Sorry, mum. 
Let's go. Go. Who is your inspiration, the person that you look up to the most? Well, Jenna Carmen's a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Jenna Carmen. Carmen, what about you? Michelle Obama! Michelle Obama! Michelle Obama! <coughs> if you were stranded on a desert island, what item or person would you take with you? Hey, well, first of all, I wouldn't really go out my way to get stranded in a desert island. Mm. So I wouldn't really have time to take anything with me. Bear Grylls, I think. Yeah. Bear Grylls. I branch out and I'm going to go Barack Obama. Arishay uh, Williams. Arishay. Arishay Williams, because he's very musical and he can play a little tune. Like this. Me, 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 me. Oh yeah, it's your turn. What made you fall in love with Doctor Who, Charlie? Oh, probably because everything's really boring, isn't it, in real life? Just adventure and unboringness of Doctor Who. With your, like, crazy obsession? I made her fall in love with Doctor Who. Oh. <laughs> what's the best thing about being a Whovian? Great question. From the, the episode you watched today, what's the best thing about it? It sort of sucks you in. Yes! Because it's all like... Mm -hmm. Yeah! Proud. What's the best thing about being a Whovian? Being able to go to Doctor Who experience. I'm going to take you there one day. Okay, of course you're on. Okay, I... Just I, stick your hands. Okay, okay, would you rather achieve your life goal or cure a worldwide disease? Cure a worldwide disease? Because then that will give other people an opportunity to achieve their goals. That was ri that was very nice. Charlie's life goal is to win a BAFTA! Ebola, BAFTA. Ebola. Ebola. Cancer, a cure all. Next question! What is the one thing you want to do before you die? I want to win a BAFTA. I want to live till I'm 100. I think that's quite an achievement, isn't it? Okay. Next question. Mm -hmm. This question is from my little sister. Who is your favourite Disney princess? Cinderella. She's the ultimate princess, isn't she? She's like... She's like... The mafia of the drug dealing industry. Except princesses do not do drugs. This is a good game! If you could live in any place in the universe... Uh. Where would you live? Hawaii! Next. Question. Oh. How old are you? I'm 16. I'm 16. We're both 16. Oh, it's a long one. If you had to listen to one song for the rest of your life, or would it be? I'm thinking... Jealous. <laughs> You, you can't go wrong with a bit of um, Whitney Houston. And I will always love you. I will Next question. Next question. Which TARDIS desktop is your favourite? My favourite is Matt Smith's 11th Doctor's first TARDIS desktop. My favourite is the David Tennant one. Last question. I feel like we should open this together. Oh, this is a good last question. Oh, this is a brilliant last question. Okay. How, How did, did you come, come up with the name, name Where's Charlie? Charlie is a very immature person. Like a child, but in a bigger body. Basically, wherever we go out with Charlie, we are constantly saying, Where's, Where's Charlie? Charlie? <laughs> We um, play the game called Where's Charlie? We play the game called Where's Charlie? But basically, you go into somewhere like the House of Fraser, okay? And then there's like a, like a home type you know, area. Like sofas. Yeah, and I'll sit there and I'll just be like this. How are you going to blend in? <laughs> and she goes, Where's Charlie? And I go, Bruh! I blow this thing. What are they called? The voo voo thing. Uh, a kazoo. Voo. Yeah, a yeah. kazoo. <laughs> And then they come and find me. So to answer your question, it's because I get lost and I say, where's Charlie? This is the end of our video. Thank you for watching everyone. Please like, subscribe and share our YouTube channel. Follow us. 